Let's talk to Jane King, our friend at the NASDAQ in New York. Southwest is facing new scrutiny, federal scrutiny, over the weight of baggage. Jane, good morning. That's right, Scott and Kylie. The FAA is looking into Southwest Airlines and if it miscalculated the weight of checked bags. Now, the Wall Street Journal says this is a big deal. Wrong bag weights could put passenger safety at risk. Now, unlike other large U.S. airlines, Southwest doesn't rely on computerized scanners to count bags. Instead, the ground crews do that. Now, on email responses to questions from the journal, a Southwest spokesperson said it has cooperated fully with the FAA and voluntarily reports issues to enhance safety. Well, Nature's Path Foods, we're calling more than 400,000 boxes of its kids' gluten-free cereal because they may contain an undeclared gluten. The FDA says the voluntary recall is for the company's Enviro Kids line, Choco Chimps, Gorilla Munch, and Jungle Munch, with specific best before dates. Those who have an allergy to wheat, celiac disease, or gluten sensitivity should not eat those cereals. Well, investors expect Walmart. In fact, they just came out with those numbers, strong holiday numbers. In fact, uh, e-commerce sales up 43 percent at Walmart. They made some investments a new checkout technology, expanded their toy section, all of that uh, giving Walmart a big boost for the holiday sales and the stock's up about 4% today. Well, oil prices hit their highest level since November last year. They were lifted by OPEC-led supply cuts, U.S. sanctions on Iran and Venezuela, and hopes that the U.S.-China trade dispute may soon end and the price of gas at the pump has also been creeping higher. Okay, the Nasdaq exited a bear market as stocks rallied Friday. It was up 45 points. There was some progress on the trade negotiations with China. That helped stocks. And in fact, all three major indexes ended the week up more than 2%. Does look like we'll open lower today, though, about 60 or 70 points. Live from the Nasdaq, I'm Jane King. Back to you, Scott and Kylie. I'll be the first to admit I do not have a green thumb. Mm. I will kill any plant that enters my house. So I invest in, <laughs> Me in the, the succulents, the, the cacti varieties, and so do millennials, I guess. And Costco is wanting That's to capitalize right. on that, huh? You know, I grew up in a farm in Indiana. I cannot raise a plant. No, nope, I don't know, like, how I miss that gene. Uh, Costco is selling succulent gardens for $20 as the houseplant craze is taking over. In fact, millennials thought to account for a third of houseplant sales in the U.S. Now, experts say this is because many are waiting longer to buy homes and they're living in smaller urban spaces, and so they want some plants mm. around. And they like raising the plants. We actually do pretty well at home with them, but both of our cats now like to eat things that'll kill them. Oh. So now we've got to get rid of all of our houseplants. <laughs> yes, right. Put them up yeah. high. Although a cat can get there, so yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I true. like it. Maybe maybe I'll be able to keep succulents around. We'll Jane, see. thank you. Thanks. 725 right now. Still 